Hello guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, again, we are going to talk about IRCC forms. So in my previous video, I have talked about how IRCC form can be downloaded and what are the problems while downloading the forms. If you want to watch that video, you can click on this i button. In this video, we are going to talk about how IRCC forms can be open and can be edited and what are the problems associated with that. So without wasting more time, let's go to my laptop. You can edit IRCC forms only on computers. This was explained in my previous video. If you have not seen that, I recommend go and see that first. It will build up a background for this video. Second requirement is you should have Acrobat Reader on your computer. So what is Acrobat Reader? Acrobat Reader is a Adobe product from which you can view and edit PDF files. All the IRCC PDFs can only be filled by Acrobat Reader. In this video, I'm going to cover these topics. If you already have Acrobat Reader, but still your files are opening in browser. Second topic is how to set your Acrobat Reader as a default application for all PDF files. Then we will see how to check you have Acrobat Reader on your computer. And at the end, we will see how to install Acrobat Reader. Let's get started. First, I'm going to show the ideal scenario. So this is one of the IRCC page and I'm going to download this form. So as usual, you will see this message on the browser, but to download, you have to click on the download option on the top right corner and just select the path and just click on save. And you can see the downloaded file at the bottom. But if you click directly on that, it will again open in a browser. So you don't have to directly click on that you have to go to that particular folder where the file is downloaded. I'm going to open that folder and just double click on that. It will open in a Acrobat Reader. So I already have the Acrobat Reader installed in my machine and it is a default application for all my PDF. So while double clicking on that, it is open in a Acrobat Reader and I'm going to fill the form and I'm going to save the form. So if you see this icon for your all PDF files, that means you are good. Your all PDF file will open in Acrobat Reader. Just double click and automatically Acrobat Reader will open and your form is loaded. Let's take a scenario where you already have Acrobat Reader installed, but it's not a default application to open a PDF file. To make that scenario work, I have to make some changes. I'm going to make Microsoft Edge as a default application for that. So if you have a Microsoft Edge as a default application for PDF, the PDF files look like this. And if you have a Chrome, your all PDF file will look like this. So let's take a Microsoft Edge as an icon. And it is always open when I do that. So after you have downloaded the application, when you double click, it will open in a browser and you will see the again, same message. And to resolve this, you have to open PDF file in Acrobat Reader. And you can do that in two ways. First is just right click open with, you can directly open in Acrobat Reader. This is one of the option. So this is document is opened and you can start filling the document. And you can save it. But if you see the icon is still same, it is not changed to Acrobat Reader icons. For that, you have to make Acrobat Reader as a default application for all PDF files. To make Acrobat Reader as a default application for all PDF file, you have to right click on one of the PDF file like this one, click on open with, and don't select any of the program from here. Select choose another program and select Acrobat Reader, then click on Always. Then form is open in Acrobat Reader. If you close the form, 
if and see the sign it is changed to acrobat reader so whenever you double click to open the file it will open in acrobat reader now let's discuss another scenario where you don't know you have acrobat reader or not so how to check you have acrobat reader installed on your machine or not and if not how to download it so if you don't have acrobat reader definitely you cannot see the acrobat reader sign on your pdf file so it will look like this or some other browser icon so you have to right click on the pdf file just go to open with and you won't see acrobat reader in the list of applications and just to double check just click on choose another program and you will not have the acrobat reader application name here so that means you do not have acrobat reader installed on your laptop or a desktop so now let's download the acrobat reader so you have to go to your browser so i'm using chrome just type acrobat reader download go to the first option and you have to click on download acrobat reader and that exe is download just click on that exe and that exe will execute and the acrobat reader is started downloading and just to save time i will fast forward this video acrobat reader is installed now i will finish the installation and i will close the both the tabs so by default all the pdf files has taken the acrobat reader sign which means acrobat reader is default application for all pdf files now so i will double click on that and it will open in acrobat reader there you go and in case your icon is not changed that means acrobat reader is not your default application so to make default application right click open with choose another program click on acrobat reader and click on always so it will change to acrobat reader iscc website says that you have to use acrobat reader version 10 or higher but i always recommend that always use the latest version currently when i'm making this video the version of acrobat reader is 22 so always best practice is to download the latest version whenever you are filling up the forms to avoid extra issues these are the small issues which i'm covering in these videos and sometimes these small issues becomes a big problem and get your application delayed so that's why i'm making these videos and providing this information so you can apply your application without wasting time without getting delayed hope you like my video and i will be creating more informational videos on ircc and immigration so if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you like this video please share with your friends and family i will see you in next video till then bye bye take care